Hi everybody. We're going to do another project today, um, a craft. Now this one is going to be um, a display. It's kind of like a vintage type fence post display. And it's not really big, so it's not like, I guess you could sit on the floor, but I'm going to use it in my bay window when I'm done. What I used was some old scrap wood that was given to me. Um, and these pieces are cut down um, to two and seven eighths inches wide. Now you can buy pre-made fence posts. You can use those and just cut them down to size and then figure out how um, tall and stuff you want. The, the process is going to be basically the same. So each piece is two and seven eighths inches wide. Our first piece is 13 and a half inches tall. And we got 16 and a half inches tall, 19 and a half inches tall, and 22 inches and a half inches tall. Each one progresses by three inches. Now how I got my points was I took and I measured my width and then I marked my center point and then I came down two inches from my side when my piece was whole and made a point and then I just made my angle from the tip to that point and marked it with a pencil and then cut that down. Now I happen to have a band saw which makes things a little easier for me but if you don't you may know somebody that has one or like I said you can buy pre-made fence posts and then just cut them down to these heights. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now these pieces here are just scrap wood and that's to hold my distance apart so they are equally apart. I also have taken and I've flattened the bottom of the piece to make sure they're all the same um, level there. Now to get my top piece here, I've taken a piece that's 15 and a half inches long and it was squared off. It was straight. So what I did was I laid my 15 and a half inch piece on there and then left my longest point, which would be 15 and a half inches. And then I made a mark with my pencil to match up along this diagonal here. So I just made a little mark. And then I went from that edge to the point, made a pencil line, and then cut that off. I did the same thing on this corner. I went to my shortest point, made a mark, and then angled off. And I ended up cutting off just a tiny wedge on each side because I want to keep my 15 and a half inch length. Now I've kind of pre-punched just a little bit, some holes in here for my screws to start in. Um, I'm going to be using a cordless drill. Um, you can use a screwdriver, especially if you've got softwood like this or pine. Um, it can be screwed in quite easily. You can also use a nail to punch in slightly if you want, or you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by laying a small bead of hot glue in here. I've made a pencil line. I took my pencil and made a line so I know where to keep my glue line in on. don't want to uh, get glue in the wrong spot. And that's just going to act like an extra pair of hands for me just to hold it temporarily while I get my screwing done. That's all it's going to do. It's just temporary. I'm going to take that I'm going to lay that on there, like so, and we're going to give it a good push, just like that. Alright, I'm going to double check, make sure it comes. I'm going to take some screws. Now these screws are a little bit longer, but I'm not going to screw them all the way. I'm going to screw them far enough to hold it. Then I'll put my back piece on, because I have cut two of those. One for the front, one for the back. And then I've also cut two pieces that are 13 and a half inches long by one and a quarter wide and that's going to act as our bottom piece. We also have another piece that is 13 and a half inches long and that's going to be the actual base. So that, that's going to sit right on here. All three of those pieces are going to fit right on there and that's going to make it stable so it stands up. So the center piece, these will go inside of here and then that will be our stand. And those are also one and a quarter inches wide. This one here ended up being um, two and a half inches wide. Okay. So I'm just going to screw these in. Might be a little noisy, but that's all part of crafting. Just going to go on there. And again, sorry about the noise. Now my bandsaw is downstairs and my camera is not. So I'm just cutting off, off of there. And some of these things you can actually use like a, a little um, 
So, all right, so we've got that stabilized there. I'm going to move this up, and my camera is extended out so you can see as much of it as possible that we're working on. I'm going to take these and I'm going to kind of move it out of the way here so I can get my bottom piece on. Now I picked one, yeah, this one I'm going to use for the back, so I'll use this one for the front. And I want to keep these so that they're spread apart, but that they're not in my way. And I've also did a little pre-punching on those too. I think I'm going to do this like this here. There we go. And I'm going to use the same screws. And I have no idea what size screws these are. These are actually jar, uh, like a drywall screw. I use these a lot because they got a good grip on them. And I'm going to just put them part way with those. And I'm going to kind of alter these so that they there we go. Sorry about my hand being in the way. Making sure my wood underneath is still lined up. Okay. Alright, so now we can pull these pieces up. We are completely done with them. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to flip it over. Now because my screws are a little long, I want to be off from the other ones so I don't run into each other. And when I finish screw those in, they're going to go into this board, the second board too. So we have our angled board here. And we're just going to line that up with that one. There we go. I'm going to do little taps here with the... And I'm just going to go off a little bit just to make sure. I'm not lined up with those other ones. Okay. We're going to take four more screws. And these ones we can run all the way in because our board is already on there. And again, I'm going to start off to the center here. Alrighty. Now I can see through here and I can see that these are pretty well lined up. There we go. And because that board's under there, I'm not worried about it going through and hurting anything. I'm going to do the same thing. And this wood is soft, so it kind of countersinks itself for me. Oh, I might split a little bit. And I'm not worried so much about the back. Oh, whoopsie. Sorry about that. Kick back a little bit. Sorry about the movement. All right, so that's that part. And then we're going to do this part here. Everything looks pretty lined up. I'm going to give us a little tap. There we go. Perfect. Then we're going to do a free hole. You don't want to be too close to the edges because um, they will. It will it might crack. You can, you can use a drill bit too if you want, if you don't have a punch or a nail. You can just use a drill bit and drill a hole. Or this is actually soft enough that it... Um, it's going in pretty good. Probably wouldn't even need to do that. There we go. You can tighten them down with a screwdriver. Oop, that split a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. Adds to the rustic part. There we go. All right. Oh, I got to unscrew those. I forgot my bottom board. See? Not too much of a hurry. Ooh, that's 
squeaky. Sorry about that. There's some squeaky wood. My husband's probably not appreciating. He worked all day. have this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is do this here. And I think it'll make it a little more sturdy. And what I'll probably do is just drive some screws down in from here. Or maybe it'll just stand up like that and I won't have to. I'll do that. All right. We're going to finish screwing these in from the front. Now, I haven't built one of these before. This is my first time building one. I just happened to see a picture and thought, oh, I like that. I think I'll make it. Sometimes my mind works like that. And I know this is noisy and I do apologize, but I wanted you to see the process. No, that one's loose there. I've got another one that's a little crooked. So I'm just going to take my screwdriver and try to turn that in a little bit better. There we go. Now they're all kind of countersunk a little bit. So, there we go. I'll just maybe put some white paint on those. So basically, I don't even need that other piece because it's not going to do much. Let's see here. It's the same width. Basically, so it's not going to do much, so I'm not even going to waste my time. I think this is stable enough. If it becomes unstable, I will have a bigger board. But that one is the same size, so I think we're good. So now for decorating, I have um, string of lights here, and I couldn't find the packaging, and I could not tell you where I got these. They're like little, the little tiny lights, like the fairy lights, and there's four strands there. And I think I'm going to wrap that around the top band there. So let me see how I can do this here. I want this in the back. And it actually doesn't start for a bit, so I think I can actually fasten that to the back there. And then my lights will start like that. Alright, so I'm going to separate these. Maybe. Did not realize they were so tangled. You know what? Maybe I'll just uh, okay. Let's just leave those like that, and I'm gonna weave them in and out. Yeah, just like that, and then. Get this back down through here, maybe. Just so each one has a little bit of light. Alright, let's see here. Doesn't seem to want to go very good. I think that's not right. I have to move it out. There, under there. Okay. And then around there, like that, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wait and try to get those in with the flowers there. I'm going to leave that there so it's kind of up in the air. Now the flowers I have are from Hobby Lobby. Well, these ones are. These ones are not. These are not from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure where I got these. Hmm. I don't know. Just a spring floral. Now I don't care for the green so much. I'm just going to pluck these up. Oops. <laughs> That's not quite what I wanted. There we go. Tore all the 
flowers off of there. I'm just going to get these. And if I want some greens, I'll grab some, but I think I'm good for right now. And I just thought these might be pretty on here. I might not even have to cover up those. I'm going to grab a little vessel. Grab a little gesso and just put it on those nail heads to cover them. Oh, I don't know what happened to that. That's crazy. I've never seen gesso do that. That's a mold in it. I've never seen that. I'll have to look that up. This is clear that I didn't even move it. I'm just batting a thousand here today, guys. have multiple products. I've never seen gesso mold like that. Something got in there. Which is weird because I always have clean brushes and stuff so I have no idea what got in there. But mold is a weird thing. I don't know if that's going to cover very good but we'll work with it. Hmm. A little puzzling there. All right. So my glue gun is hot. I think I'm just going to start placing these around. Get thoughtful. And I'm just going to put some glue down. And I'll probably lay way more glue than I need, but it's going to get covered because I'm going to keep just laying pieces here and there. And then I'll come back and trim things too. Um, and we'll come back and forth and trim. I kind of like that one. Let's turn that like that. Let's uh, get a drop there. Now, I'm going to hold that a little bit because I want that one standing up. And the glue is hot, so it's kind of melting that a little bit. All right, I'm going to let that start cooling. Oh, that's cool, and then I'll just keep moving. Like I said, I can come back and cut some down. And I have several of these, so I'll have plenty to go in a couple different directions. This one here, I'll have a little bit of glue there. Let you stand up. All right, let's try a little bit. Okay. And this one here. Alright. This little one here. We can lay some coming off of here. I'm going to grab my nippers a second so I can trim some of those off again. Like I said, this is going to be a little more extensive video today because there's more involved. Right. And then sometimes you think you've got everything, but you don't. Oopsie. Ooh, uh.
I got some of these flowers that fell off. We'll just put those here and there. It won't hurt nothing. Like so. Oopsie. Okay. We'll grab another stack. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to start pulling these off here. Now the green would probably be fine for some people. I just don't need the green. I don't think. I might change my mind when I'm all done and throw a couple pieces in there. But I just like these white flowers here. Put this down. Put these down before I get make it easier. Alright. Maybe we can get some of those lights in there. Let's see here. Maybe not. Let's see here. I just thought these lights would be so cute in there, but if I can't get them in there, then... Yep. Yeah. I don't think that's going to work very well. I just don't. Alright. Maybe another time I'll try to add those or something here. Okay. You know, let them follow the curve they want. Right here. Now I also have a hook. Now this is just a two and a quarter inch. Um, it's like a rubber coated hook. Um, I got them at what we call a Meyer store. It's kind of like a Walmart. It's your all-in-one kind of grocery shopping center. And I also have this little lantern, and it is um, from DeRice, or DeRice, however they say it. Um, and it's just a cute little lantern. I'm going to put a tea light in there. And then that will hang right from here. And it is actually, I'll give you the height so you have an idea. It is, without the handle sticking up, it's like five and, five and a quarter inches. By about three and a quarter inches wide at its widest point. So I'm going to screw that thing in there before I forget and get too many flowers in there. And it's just got a screw head. So let's just run that in there. And it should go in pretty easy because it's soft wood. And once they usually get started, they just kind of pull themselves in nicely. There we go. And that will go all the way down in there. I think I can get one more turn. There we go. So our hook is in there. We can hang our lantern on there now. When we're all done, we'll be all set. Nippers. I'm going to nip off anything that doesn't have a little flower on it. I don't need that. Alright, we're just going to keep gluing here. And keep sticking little flowers in there. And see those screw holes are covered up pretty much now. Right here. Hmm, get in there. There you go. And again, I've got some single flowers here, so I'm just gonna 
put those in where the places where they're all right. And then a long flower. That's a on that one like down here. Always see what happens. Right. I'm gonna hold that one just for a second. There we go. Let me get going there. Now this one has a few missing flowers on it. So I'm just gonna take those off there. And then we'll get that one going down here maybe. Down in here a little bit. Stand bits in the way. Hey, that was hot. That was hot. There we go. And we'll pull off all the blue strings when we're all done. Get some blue strings here. see here. Let me get another one going up like that. Up up here into there. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. There we go. I'm going to stand it up a second and take a look. See what we got going. See that? It's not too bad, I guess. Not too crazy about how that's going like that. I'm gonna cut that one out. I don't like how that one's going down, so I'm just gonna snip it off, and then I can put it back in this way a second. Sometimes you. Got to look at it at a different angle to make sure it's doing what you want. I also have some of these flowers here. These are from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to pull a few of those off. And we'll throw them in here and there. I don't know. What, they kind of remind me of almost like a wild rose, maybe. I'm not sure. I thought they in that same color spectrum. I thought they would look pretty. And I'm just going to throw some of those in here and there. A little bit bigger, so they kind of black. And we still might add more of the other ones. There we go. And I might pull more. They're in the same color spectrum and it looks kind of nice, even though they're different types of flowers. I think I'll pull some more littler ones too. Let's pull some more smaller ones. And I'm not counting, I'm just going to place them um, where I think they look nice. I'll get some medium sized ones here. Oh, whoops. Right down in there. And as soon as I get a couple of these in, then I'll just put it down so you can see too what's going on. And I think we need another one right in there. Maybe one right here. We're going to need some more of those other ones in there, too. Let's do a little one right down in there along that one. And another little one here. And sometimes you just, you know, you would think, oh, that doesn't look very good. But then as you start adding things, it kind of starts making it look better and better. But I have had it where it's, it's like, oh, that's just way too much. This seems to be looking pretty good. Let me get another one of those other bouquets here and I think I can get another one of these in there right in there just like that I think it'll be perfect I'm gonna actually add it right to here 
see these other flowers already in there. There we go. Oh yeah. And I'm just going to throw in a couple more of these little ones. There. And right there. All right. Oh, I got a little single one there. All right, let's see what we got here now. All right, so this is what we got so far. I don't know if you can try to give you a better view of the top there. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that and that some white paint. The rest I'm going to leave. I might give a little bit, and I'm just going to give touches. And maybe I'll just use gesso. Or gesso, however you say it, because um, I don't want to lose that rustic look. And if I just give it light ones, then I'll be all right. Uh, then I won't have to go in and sand again, sand it off. So we're just going to give just just some. I'm just going to throw some on here and there, just to kind of break up that uh, wood. A little bit. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the tops here. Just kind of here and there, just to break it up a little bit. And then somewhere around here, I have white paint sitting around, but apparently I moved it from the normal spot, and it's not where I normally keep it. So it's not right at my fingertips. And I'm usually pretty good about that, but I might have got... Sometimes when I take care of stuff, I'll grab stuff by the handfuls and I'll just go in and start sticking it in. And I might have thought it was something else and stuck it in a different spot. Yep, I'm going to need the paint. That is not going to work. Alright. Oh, here it is. Alright. Still on the bench. There we go. That's better. This will be better. You can see that. I'm just going to hit that. So note to self, gesso did not work. <laughs> there, that looks a lot better. Just hitting there and there. And then I'm going to do the back side. I'm not going to worry too much about the back side finish, but because... I'm not going to see it, and this is not something I'm going to be selling, not this piece anyway. Um, so, it's just for my own personal, but if I was selling it, I would go ahead and do the back properly. Make sure the back looked as rustic as the front. Sometimes when it's just for ourselves, we don't worry so much. At least I, I don't, you know worry too much about it. I'm going to hit those sides a little bit where, and these are, these are places where I've sawed the wood. So I've taken that down to fresh wood again. And that's why, that's why it looks like that. So. They were almost twice that wide. And I'm going to just going to hit, kind of hit the Sides of the centers here. Again, that's where the wood was sawn, where I cut it apart. There were wider pieces, and I just cut them, and so it looks like real fresh wood there. There we go. All right. Get that a little bit. Get the ends there. Get that end. That yeah, would be perfect. There we go. All right. Um, I think I should get that. That one's there somewhere. Inside of there. And then that side. It's a little bit of solid wood. All right. Okay. So I'm not going to go with the light. I think that will be good. I do have to 
erase my pencil marks here. I just wrote those on there because I wanted you to know the exact size boards I used to make it easier for you. All right, I think I'm going to grab a tea light here. Oops, there we go. I'm going to put that inside of our little... These are pretty nice little... lanterns actually for being tiny they're all metal all right so i'm gonna stand it up and I don't know if you can see that i'm gonna try to get it so you can see it there we go there and that is pretty much it now i think i might make beds no not flowers down there or not. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll add just a few down here. That might look nice. Whoopsie. All right. Let's pull some more of these off. We'll put a few down there. I think that'll look nice. I have them. I don't have any other project to use for these, so I might as well use them up. There we go. I don't need a ton on here, just enough. All right. Sometimes I'd rather just use it up than have it sitting around. And sometimes you run into things like, oh, I just need that one little flower, but, you know, I, uh, I have so many things that I really want to start using things all up. <clears throat> I do, I do. All right, so let's lay another band of this on here. We'll just like that. Kind of like that. There we go. Another one here. I hope this is. I know it's kind of hard to see with my camera so far off in the center, but. You wouldn't see hardly anything if I didn't have it like that. Alright. Like that. And then let's get to... Uh, I'm going to actually have you going up, I think, like that. Alright. Let's pull some more big flowers. i got some little ones here I can throw in there, too. Some more of these. And someone probably can tell me, oh, those are supposed to be blah, blah, blah flowers. But I don't know. So maybe Renault, Renault keys? No, I don't know. I'm just guessing, I guess. Day.
we'll see. Just fell off the off the stems there. So I'll just put them back in there. All right, maybe a couple more small ones. We'll do it. Nice, nice little easy. I mean, it wasn't. It's not really that hard. I think it only took me. Oh, I don't think not even an hour to get the wood prepped and uh, measure it and cut it. I don't think it took me very long. So there. That is our craft project for today. I hope you'll try it, and I. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you would. I appreciate it. And until I see you again, I'll be crafting and I hope you will too. Bye bye.